Hi Leo, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to be getting you some messages. We'll see what's going on in your energy and uh, what angels and spirit guides want to tell you today. What this, you know, maybe some advice that they have to give you. So before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, Leo, let's see what's coming out. I'm going to move you up a little bit. Nine of Swords. Ace of Wands. Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. All right, Leo. So, uh, you've been losing sleep over something, but I feel like you're going to come out of that. I feel like you're, you're, um, finally, like, getting to a point where you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm done worrying about this. Like, I'm over it. Like, let's move on. Because you have the Ace of Wands here, and that is a new beginning. This is a new passionate beginning. This is, this could be new love coming in. This could be, um... Something that lights your fire. What is it that you've been wishing for and hoping for and dreaming of? Because it looks like that's what's coming in. So I feel like you're getting your passion back. I feel like you've lost it for a while. Especially with this nine of wands here. That's the wounded warrior. So it feels like you've been through the battle. But, you know, you're getting through it. You're almost there. You're almost at the ten. You're almost at the point where you could put those burdens down. You know, Seven of Pentacles tells me that you've been really thinking about things. You've been really taking a look at, at, you know, maybe some seeds that you've planted. You've been watching them grow. You know, you're being patient and uh, your hard work's about to pay off. Your fire's about to be ignited again. You know, that's, that's all Leo energy there. That fire, that passion, that love. So, you know, new love could be coming in or m new prosperity, new way of making money, making uh, things happen, new, new way of doing something that just ignites your passion, like something that just makes your soul happy. Let's get you some more cards. Two of Cups, Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, The Hangman. All right. So what I'm seeing is that you do have soulmate energy in your in your um, around you right now. Like, uh, like I said, this could be new love coming in. It's somebody that you could have, you know, it could have been love at first sight or, you know, something, somebody that you just really care so deeply about. Um, it, there could be some communication coming in either from them or from you to them. You might be reaching out. I think, that, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is saying, okay, you, you've been independent for, for a while now and... You are collecting that harvest. You're, you're understanding things. You have a greater knowledge of what you've been through and um, what you want and how to get what you want. Like you're going to be able to, like I said, you've planted the seeds here. You've been watching them grow and now they're going to pay off. Now it's time for you to collect your reward. You've, you've put in some work here, it feels like. Um, whether that's work on yourself or, you know, like healing, things like that. But I feel like you're really coming out of this anxiety, whatever that was, that was keeping you up at night. And I feel like with this hangman, you are really looking at things from a different perspective. You're really trying to see things in a different light. And I feel like your sacrifices are going to pay off now. So, um, I feel like, um, 
I don't know. Let's just get some more cards. I kind of feel like, like there's some action that needs to be taken. Like I'm feeling like, um, like a push here. Oh, there we go. Motivation. <laughs> That's what you need. You need some motivation to get to, to make a move, to take some action. That's what I was feeling. Like, I feel like this might be your push. This is me saying your angels and guides are giving you a, a push, a nudge to like, um, uh, listen to that inspired action that they're giving you. Love heals fear. So I feel like this was a lot of fear here. And I feel like you've gotten to a place where you're, you've healed enough that you can love yourself. And maybe you have looked at things differently where you could love someone else as well. Um, so now that that love is healing the fear, it's heal, healing the anxiety, you're coming out of that now. And you're getting to a point where you can make your dreams come true here. You have a wish fulfillment here. And a new passion. Diana. Diana is a Ro Roman goddess, right? Diana is the um, communicator with animals, right? She's a... Uh, She tells us that sometimes the answer is simple, right? Sometimes we get so caught up in what's happening or what's not happening that we forget to just be. Sometimes the answers need to come from um, the basic desire of the body feeling grounded here, of belonging, of being connected, right? So um, I don't know if you've been spending time out in nature or, you know, because I do feel like you, you, you're heal, healing a little bit. So I don't know if you've been spending time out in nature because nature is, is very healing or that you still need to do that to, to heal even further. You know, believe it or not, the trees listen. They hear us. They might not be able to communicate to us with words, but you can talk to a tree. I know it's a little woo-woo. I know it's a little crazy, but they have energy just like the rest of us. And, you know, they are very healing. Whenever I need healing, I go. I There's a, a, a special tree that I have that I go to and I sit and I'll sit beneath it and just touch it or I'll lean against it and say, you know, I just need a hug. And I feel the tree's energy around me. I do. It's crazy. I know it sounds crazy and off the wall, but it's true. Energy, the, the earth, Mother Earth, is so healing. You know, so maybe you need to put your toes in the sand or even better mud. You know, mud's very, very, very healing. Um, you know, it's so funny when I was little, my, and I would get a bee sting. My mom would put mud on that bee sting because it was healing. And um, it did. It, 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 it made it better. It, it made it not swell up so bad because I'm allergic to bee stings. Um, and I swell up really, really bad. But if she put mud on it, my foot would, or wherever I got stung, I always was going barefoot. So it, most of the time I was stepping on bees um, and I would get stung. And, you know, my foot wouldn't swell up as bad. If I didn't do it, like, because when I got older and my mom wasn't around as much because she had to work or whatever, um, and I got stung by myself and I didn't put mud on it, my foot would balloon up where I couldn't walk on it for like a day or two. So the earth is so healing. And uh, so are trees and nature. So if you have some healing to do, get outside. Get outside. You know, if you can go to water, water is very healing. Go to uh, a beach or a lake or a, even a creek. You know what I mean? Um a pond, even if you have to sit down and just look at a fish pond. 
that's that's healing it's healing it'll help you okay i know i went on too long for that sorry <laughs> let's get you a new spirit animal card let's see what animal we pull especially with diana here that's kind of amazing let's see oh you pulled the dragonfly that's magic I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Yes, you are. Look at that. You're transforming now. You're seeing things from a different perspective. You're healing. Um, you got the magic within you now. Like So again, that dragonfly spirit is about nature, right? So get outside. You got several cards here to get outside and heal and transform but you still have to balance practicality with spirituality and practicality so you still have to take desire um does um inspired action you still have to do things you can't just wish things all the time i mean yes we can manifest things but sometimes we have to be practical sometimes there's steps that we have to do there's some things that spirit cannot physically do for us so I did feel like there's this communication, right? So maybe you need to reach out to somebody. There's some practical um, things that you have to do to get to what you need or to get, yeah, to get what you want, to fulfill your wish here. There's a reconciliation coming in. Look at that. You're getting back together with somebody or... Um, somebody from the past is coming back and it could be from a past life but somebody from your past is coming back in reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that it will all work out for the best so maybe you've been in separation from somebody right and you gave each other time um, to heal and to grow, to learn. And now you're ready for this reconciliation. So now maybe you need to reach out to somebody. Look at that. <laughs> Let's get you a sassy card. That's just, that's not what the deck's called. It's just what I'm calling them because this is a uh, inner peace card oh sorry all right pick one thing beyond your control and let it go and just like that just let it go it's something that you just need to let go of not hold on to anymore and the other side is busy transcending the bs there you go that's what you're doing you're healing you're bringing love into the situation you're transcending the bs right so what Pick one, pick something that was BS that you need to let go of. Pick it. Let it go. You're going to transcend it. Amazing, Leo. Let's pull you some charms. Oh. Expect a miracle. Expect it because it's going to happen. <gasps> you got soulmate energy here. Look. You might be reconciling with your soulmate. They might be coming back into your life. Look, because there was a transformation. There was change and it's time now. It's time for them to come back. You might be getting your re the sweet reward, your just desserts for what happened in the past. Luck is on your side right now. So take that inspired action because this is a rare and unique situation. This is something that you, um, that's just meant for you and only you. Wow, Leo. I'm excited for you. I feel like something beautiful is about to happen for you. All right, Leo. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because you know that helps me and makes me so very grateful. I appreciate you. And until next time, love and light.